the common ground we share. For a period of a year, I visited these two Baptist heads of households with Latter-day Saint missionaries. I was the local person that often split with the missionaries, and there were many sets of missionaries that came through to talk to these two families who had an interest in learning more about Latter-day Saint beliefs. I came to know these two heads of households very well. We loved the dialogue that we participated in regularly, at least once a month for a year. I went to their church, they came to mine, for increased understanding of the principles that we taught. Towards the end of our visits, they said to me, Vinny, you've been talking about the much, much more that Latter-day Saints believe in. Why don't you give us a presentation next time we meet and tell us what that much, much more is because we think we have enough. It was a sincere request, so in the weeks that followed, I thought, how will I do that? I went to a study that I worked on, a book called Principles with Promise, which catalogs about 4,500 Latter-day Saint beliefs. I randomly flipped the book open and landed on a topic which was entitled Teach, Teacher, Teachable, and I took all 46 principles that I had cataloged under those topics and stripped out the verse information and listed these 46 on a paper. I brought it to our meeting place in their home that following week and gave them a little quiz. I said, Baptists are generally scriptorians, so this is what I want you to do. Look at each principle that I've listed, and if you recognize it as something coming out of the Old or New Testament, then just put a star next to it. Don't try to game this. If you think it's from the Old or New Testament, just put a star next to it. It took about 15 minutes, and as they read through these principles that I'd gather, and they put their stars, and then I said, now read each principle on its own merit, and if you agree with it, put another star next to it, a different star, and don't try to game it. What I mean by gaming it is if you think it's a Latter-day Saint principle and you're just not going to agree with it for disagreement's sake, then the experiment's not going to have any kind of outcome that's reliable. Now, rest assured, I had no idea how this experiment was going to work out and where we would find that common ground. After about another 15 minutes, I said, now put an X next to the principles that you disagree with. Well, my one friend said, I agree with 46 out of 46 principles. I was a little bit amazed, tell you the truth. And my other friend said that she believed in 44 out of the 46. We discussed the two, and she decided to agree with one of them, and then the other one was just too Mormon-like, so she decided to disagree on that one, as I remember it. There was a moment of silence, and then I asked the next question. How many of these principles do you think came out of the Old or New Testament? I believe their answers were somewhere in the 20s. We have additional scripture, the Book of Mormon, Pearl of Great Price, and Doctrine and Covenant, and I had extracted many principles out of those books as well. I answered them and said that there were only 11 of the 46 that came out of the Old and New Testament, and that the others were the much, much more that I was asked to illustrate. You see, there is a significant amount of common ground that we believe in that are true and correct principles. After a little brief moment of silence, my one friend said, Well, Vinny, we're not saying that the Latter-day Saints are an immoral people. I said, Stop right there. I said, You asked me to show you the much, much more. These are the principles that we teach our people that are in our scriptures. It's that simple. And we share that common ground with you. I have cataloged more than 4,500 principles from Latter-day Saint scripture. I have read the Catholic Deuterocanonical books, there are seven of them, and found many useful principles regarding friendship and wisdom and produced a concordance especially for Catholics. And I have cataloged out of that collection 2,000 principles from the Old and New Testament. Truth to me is truth, and if it's not truth, it's not important. I also believe that all the truth and wisdom that the universe has to offer us is not solely contained in the scriptures. That the universe talks to us on a daily basis and enlightens our minds to things that govern life. There is much, much more to consider and we share a common ground in many things pertaining to life and why things are the way they are.